So we're now going to look at electric fluxes through closed surfaces. So a sphere or a cube are examples of closed surface. Now the equation for the electric flux remains much the same. However, now to show that the surface is closed, we put a little circle around the integral sign. So the equation for flux becomes phi e is equal to the integral with a circle e dot dA. And for a closed surface, dA always has the direction out of that closed surface. Now remember that we can visualize the electric flux as the number of field lines cutting through a surface. So let's consider a sphere in a uniform electric field. So here it is shown in cross section. Now in this case you can see that every field line which is entering the sphere also ends up leaving the sphere. So these are going to have opposite signs. When it's entering the sphere, we've got a component of E and DA in the opposite direction, so they'll contribute negatively, whereas when it's leaving the sphere, DA is also out of the sphere, and so these will contribute positively. So the net flux in this case is zero, because every line entering also leaves. Now before you continue, I've got a little challenge for you. Can you think of a closed surface in a uniform electric field through which the flux is not zero?